I don't really get holidays generally because I'm working. Um, so this is kind of like rare. I'm from Glasgow, Scotland. Never had a holiday when I was a kid. Never. It's not really, to be honest with you, it's not really my culture to have holidays. I never really had a holiday until the first holiday I went was about 12 years ago, I think. I think in the mid 90s, uh, our manager sent three of us here to write songs. That was a bit of a disaster. And. Yeah, but I've, I've, heard, I've, I've, I think I've been here about five or six times. I really, I think it's a great island. Um, I, mean, I like some of the beaches, you know, and uh, I like it up in the mountains. It's really nice up there, nice and peaceful. Um, I don't really go out much when I come. But yeah, take it easy, you know. I mean, I'm out here tonight because it was working in the club, but um, it's kind of rare, you know. I'm not really big on holidays, you know. I think I'd rather work, you know. I'd rather be... But this is good, I'm enjoying this. I don't really dream of holidays, you know. This is a pretty fucking crazy interview. Uh, the majority of people work in very hypnotising jobs. For me, it's just creativity, so I don't get bored of it. As soon as I'm awake, I can't wait to get on and do what I'm doing. And I think holidays for the majority of people are to come away from what they do from the norm. So I'd say for other people, holidays would be more relaxing, whereas I don't like relaxing. Recreation. As in? Difficult question. Really? What, airports, hotel rooms for 10 seconds and discos with flashing lights, no? No, no, I actually take some time off sometimes, do a little bit of research, you know, and actually uh, try and know something. I decided a long time ago that I didn't want to get to the end of my life, be sort of old and decrepit and deaf, going, what? I can't hear you, speak up! And uh, know nothing about anywhere I went. So, uh, yeah, it's good. I, and it's good to look sort of a little bit further on than... Uh, you know, you go to Buenos Aires, it's actually nice to know that there are other places in Argentina that are actually great as well, you know, like Patagonia or Cordoba or the uh, Pampas. Two trips spring to mind. One when I was 19 years old, 
and Sandy Rivera and Angel Moraes invited me to New York independently of each other and I spent about three months in Brooklyn uh, in their studios and, and learning from them. That's probably one of the best trips. Second one Second one, which is quite important, because it was actually 10 years ago to this very day, was when Danny Ramplin walked me into Space Nightclub. And I'd come out here to promote a record that me and my friend Herschel had made. And uh, the record company, which was Arista BMG, had given me some money to fritter away and come out here. So for me, they're the two most poignant trips that I've ever had in my life. You can't call them holidays. The, well, yeah, but working is when it's. I know this sounds so stupid, but when something's your absolute 100% passion, then there's the lines are completely blurred. first sort of long holidays that I'd had were coming to Alicante, Spain with my parents and that was from about age four or five onwards. So there's the things that happen to you as a kid sort of run deep into your psyche and that's some, it's probably why I like Ibiza so much because it's Fanta Limon for instance that didn't come out until about 2002 in England and it's because it had e-numbers in it that are illegal. So I actually would have loved to have come here when it was Grace Jones and uh, you know Wham and just like kind of people that were, I think, rocking it, pop stars and stuff. You know, I think it was really glamorous for a long, long time. But I mean, it's still amazing now. But it would have been kind of cool to have been here in the mid '80s as a tourist, because Grace Jones would definitely have fallen in love with me. I'd actually like to go. It's being creative again. I'd like to go to the Galapagos Islands and take some photos because of all the weird weird wildlife down there. I, I do fancy being chased by a Komodo dragon on the breach. Like, I think I'm, I'm definitely going to do that as well. But then again, that's still want to be creative. There's nothing that I really want to see or, or do. Or I, tourism doesn't interest me in the slightest. It really doesn't. It really don't. It'd be nice to go to like Papua New Guinea, wouldn't it? Because it's like a classic song. It's a, a very nice sort of uh, place full of uh, indigenous people. As I've got older, I've realised if I say I'm a year older than I actually am, when my birthday comes, I'm not that disappointed. And I've been doing that since I was 29. No, f Herschel. F Herschel. Where the f is Herschel? No, it's my birthday, right? And like, where the f in hell is Herschel? I mean, I think Herschel has been with me on my birthday for like every birthday I've had in 13 years. And this is the first birthday that I've had without a Herschel. I mean like, what's a birthday without a Herschel, man? Uh, no, there's no substitute for Herschel. He's like the one and only Herschel Rockefeller. God, I don't know, it's a minefield. Where'd you start, you know? It's a minefield of hypocrisy for some people. I'll leave it there. <laughs>